you got to do. Anyway, this is my office. Such a small office. You really should get a bigger place. Yeah, semi disorganized chaos. My little Hot Wheels collection. I right like it there. though. It looks like my office in a way. Well, the building's a pivotal part of the story. I mentioned architecture. This building was built in 1902. We bought it in 2000, 21 years ago. People at the time said we were crazy for doing that. And then in reality, this turned out to be the best thing we'd ever done. Because yeah. the neighborhood has developed to the point where it's almost oversaturated. And uh, there's so much more activity in this hood when I pull in now than there was even just six years ago. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. You it's got crazy. Warner Brothers down the road, Spotify yeah. 200 yards away, and Soho House. Really? And, yeah. You know, a whole bunch of hipsters doing hip things. But back in the 90s, it wasn't really like that. It's such a cool, it's got such a good vibe to it, though. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know, for me, it's a great place to come and spend time. And uh, we're still doing some filming in it, so that seems to pay the bills occasionally. Oh, really? Let's come back a bit. Come back a bit. Yeah. You know, right now there's like a whole wave of, you know, the floodgates opened up and everyone's filming. Maybe I like we how take the lights a... are turning on as we walk through. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> take a little beat. There you go, fella. There's oh, a little early the Christmas toy. I have something to drive home. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Exactly. It's pretty cool, actually. I like it. Yeah, about five years ago, Hot Wheels came to me and said, would you like to design a car? And one car led to now over 30 of them. Some of them are actually my own car, so. We all have a Hot Wheels cool. store. Of course, yeah. I'm going to take this with us. This here is sort of a little overflow gallery slash pop-up space. Could, looks like a store. You could, set, you could have a store in yeah, here. Yeah, you could have a store here. People would always send me stuff, and this wall is kind of a perfect example. Oh, wow. All like this that. art on the wall is non-commissioned. People just sent it to me. And for a long time, it was on that curtain room table gathering dust and finally I'm like, fuck it, let me get it all framed up, get it on the wall. Yeah. And then this became a little bit of a pop-up gallery. There's some good stuff in here. Well, if you look at this one, this one's pretty interesting. Yeah. So my buddy Mitya Borka, who now designs for Lamborghini, illustrated this in 2013. Oh, wow. And he said that 277 would make a great speedster. And I said to him, I'm not interested in speedsters, There's too much wind in the yeah. head. And then he drew this speedster in 2013. Eight years, not eight years, five years later in 2018, Porsche released right. the 991 Speedster right. to yeah. celebrate 75 years of Porsche. He'd already drawn it in 2013. Ready to go, they just copied you. I mean, come well, on. Well, the date's there. Yeah, it's right there, it's right, right there. there. Yeah, yeah. Right there in front the of proof. you. proof, we should uh, sue him. And the crazy thing is, he drew it on the back of a standard uh, hotel oh, okay. room menu, you can see it on the just back. Just sketched it out. Just oh, yeah. sketched it out whilst he was standing That's cool, I like the. Rendering as well. Yeah, 277 never became a speedster, but, yeah, but you know, it's good in imaginary. Neither, neither did it become a bus. Well, no, but there is a Hot Wheels version of the bus. Oh, yes, I've actually seen that. There you go. Oops, there's the fun stuff over there. Fun stuff. No, I'm looking at the, the wrecked stuff. You know. Oh, yeah. Parts, parts cars. Parts cars, don't yeah. parts cars, yeah. Well, remember I was talking about the 964 with the, yeah. with the window crank mechanism oh, yeah, that okay. came out of the 65 912? Yeah. yeah, straight out Just of that. Just bolted right in, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So this is a non-911 row. These are the front engine, water-cooled, 928, 944, 924. turbo, such a rare so, car. Yeah, this is 1980, first year of Porsche's front engine turbocharged 924. Volkswagen. Yeah, VW, <laughs> but you know, I mean, my current pet peeve is, you know, Porsche's got this thing called the Taycan, right? It's an electric car, mm. and they call it turbo. And we all know turbo is a turbocharged. Forced induction yeah. on an internal combustion motor. Back in the day, real turbos had turbos. It wasn't a marketing ploy. But anyway, that's a whole nother yeah, subject. Yeah, you know, I, I'm with you. I yeah. agree. It's a little confusing. Yeah. This one's kind of special. It, people think it's a 944. It's actually a 1980, 924 Carrera GT. Not to be confused with the, the Carrera other Carrera GT, GT that yeah. came many years later. This <laughs> one came out in 1980. So Porsche took the base entry level a turbo that had about 175 horsepower, uh, pumped it up to 210 horsepower. Really? And then they only made 406 examples of this particular It car. looks like you don't drive it. Well, once so things- clean. Once thing, unfortunately, once things make it inside with the columns being 13 foot on center, it's a little tricky to get them out because that gap in the door, I have about an inch either side. It takes two people. I need a spotter, yeah. yeah, yeah I can't yeah. get it, I can't physically sort of gap it myself. And that's not a wall you want to just widen. Well, it kind of is, Nobody. but that's quite a lot of work. No, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, but yeah you, you do, but My gosh. master plan is actually to make it two feet wider. Yeah. 
which, you know, if you know anyone in construction with some I beams and headers. We can get these guys to work and we're yeah, done. Put we'll them do it. When you leave, we'll just uh, right, fire, pull out the hammer. Fire, fire right into it. Yeah. Anyway, let's go into the big garage. Let's go. The big dog garage. Oh, yeah, my favorite oh. part. Now is the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not going to ask you for that. What I'm going to say to you is, if you want to see more videos and you want to learn more of what we've learned, and you want to see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.